Michelle, and I'm the food editor of Yummy.ph. The Ginit no Ulit, and one of our favorite things about the dry season are the mangoes. We have some of the sweetest mangoes in the world, and that's probably why we love making desserts with mangoes. One of our favorite recipes is the mango float. So, if you love making mango float, you're going to love this new recipe. That's because we made a mango float, but topped it with some leche flour. Now, doesn't that sound delicious? If you think that sounds delicious, then you're going to want to make this recipe. Let's start. In an 8 inch aluminum cake pan, add the sugar. Place it over low heat and melt and caramelize it. Be careful, swirl the pan, don't stir, to evenly melt the sugar. Once completely melted, set aside and let cool completely. In a large bowl, combine yolks, sweetened condensed milk, and evaporated milk. Mix with a spoon and spatula. Pass through a strainer or sieve into another bowl to remove lumps. This ensures a super smooth leche flan. Pour the leche flan batter into the prepared cake pan. Cover with foil and steam until set. Cool completely, then chill overnight. Slice and cube the three ripe mangoes. I like using a large cooking spoon to carefully scoop out the mango from the skin. Perfect! Whip the cream to soft peaks, add the sugar, then whip to stiff peaks. Fold the whipped cream into the mangoes. Time to assemble! Add half the mango cream onto the leche flan layer. Top the mango cream with graham crackers. Fill in the gaps. Add and smooth the remaining mango cream on top of the graham crackers. Add the final layer of graham crackers on top. Fill in those gaps as much as possible for a nice base. When ready to serve, place a plate over the cake and flip! Wiggle the pan as needed to make the cake gently drop onto the plate. is pretty irresistible. It has the sweetness from the mangoes, the silkiness from the cream, and of course it becomes super addictive because of the leche flan. We think this is the ultimate summer dessert. If you like recipes just like this one, come visit us on yummy.ph and of course subscribe to our YouTube channel. You don't want to miss any of our recipes that we post online. You can post comments, suggestions, or even questions if you have any about this recipe or any of our other recipes that we have. We'd love to hear from you. You can also visit us on Facebook on the yummy.ph Pinoy Cooking Club. You can post your photos there. As always, thanks for visiting and for watching our videos. Until the next recipe, bye!